Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lost Planeswalker. You're here with me, Jesse, the Lost Planeswalker. Today we're going to continue down the list and talk about the evergreen keyword action, Fight. We'll go through how Fight works and how we can take advantage of this amazing keyword. Before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to all the people commenting and leaving likes on my last video. You really made my day and I appreciate it. If you enjoy this video too, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's dive into Fight. Fight is an evergreen keyword action, which means it is printed on cards from all over the Magic Universe. Fight can be seen on cards from Gate Crash on Ravnica to the battlefields of the Brothers' War. Fight was first used in the original Innistrad set. What does Fight do, and how does it work? According to Rule 701.12a, a spell or ability may instruct a creature to fight another creature, or may instruct two creatures to fight each other. Each of these creatures deals damage equal to their power to each other creature. Fight acts like a targeted pre-combat, allowing you to potentially destroy a creature on an opponent's board. Damage done from the fight will remain on the creature until it falls off like regular damage does. Unlike red, white, and black that all have spells for destroying creatures, dealing damage to them or exiling them, Fight is Green's way of removing opponent's creatures from the board. Two other interesting rules about Fight are 701.12c. If a creature fights itself, it deals damage to itself equal to twice its power and rule 701.12d. The damage dealt whenever a creature fights isn't combat damage. Some creatures have triggers that activate based on the amount of damage they receive. Cards like Brash Taunter are indestructible and deal damage to the target opponent based on the damage dealt to himself. While he is only a 1-1, if he has some equipment attached and a fight spell is cast, you can quickly deal lots of damage to your opponent. Unfortunately though, his activated ability says fight another target creature, so any fighting he does to himself will need to be from another source. Grotha, All Devouring, is another amazing card for the fight action. If you can play and then have it instantly fight itself, you can draw cards equal to double its power. So at a minimum, you are drawing 20 cards for around 7-ish mana. Green, which does not have a lot of card draw, can really take advantage of fight and how it works with Grothama. Since fight isn't during combat, effects like first strike, double strike, do not trigger because they are specific to combat. Any other combat tricks do not occur either, which gives you the opportunity to get rid of them before they can activate. On the other hand, cards that have damage effects, like when damage is dealt, will still occur because creatures are still taking damage. Abilities like lifelink, death touch, and infect will still trigger whenever these creatures fight. You can use them to have a small creature with death touch destroy a much larger creature by forcing them to fight. The best color for a fight is green, which has 58% of the cards, and red, which has 16% of them. There are many different strategies when using cards with fight, and here are a few to keep in mind when building your next deck. In the world of fight mechanics, there are many cheap spells that can have a creature you control fight when you don't. Bushwhack, Prey Upon, and Hunt the Hunter are all one mana fight spells. Each one has you fight a creature you don't control, and Hunt the Hunted buffs your creature as well. My favorite one of these is Blizzard Brawl, which gives a creature you control plus one plus zero, and it's indestructible if you control three or more snow permit until the end of the turn. This is an amazing card that can help avoid your creature from dying during the confrontation. Pit Fight and Go for Blood are more expensive, but allow you more versatility in their abilities. In the world of Big Green Stompy, there are a few creatures that make real good use of the fight mechanic. Apex Ultasaur, Kolga the Titan Ape, and the Terrasac all come into the battlefield ready to rumble. Kolga the Titan Ape and Apex Ultasaur come into the battlefield and incidentally fight another creature your opponents control. Kolga will destroy an artifact or enchantment, and Apex Ultasaur will continue to fight until it dies or your opponents run out of creatures. The Terrasac, when cast, comes in with haste and fights a creature whenever it attacks. This happens before blocks are declared and gives you the opportunity to destroy a creature your opponent held up for blocks. There are a couple of Gruul cards that use fight. Gruul Rage Beast and Earl Rich of Karen Horde are great for decks revolving around fight. Whenever the Gruul Rage Beast or another creature you control enter the battlefield, they fight a creature your opponents control. When Earl Rich of Kalenhorn enters the battlefield or transforms, you can give a creature you control plus four plus four. When he flips into Earl Rich Contested Alpha, you still get the plus four plus four and then he fights a creature. This is a great werewolf card that can be very powerful. Domri and Arch of Bolas and Dom Domni Raid both have a tick down ability that has a creature you control fight another target creature. Domni Raid allows you to fight any other creature, meaning you choose a creature you control, while Domri and Arch of Bolas specifically says another creature you don't control. Daybreak Ranger and Udvenwald Tracker are both cards that can allow you to fight when you want. When Daybreak Ranger transforms into Nightfall Predator, you can pay red and have it fight. Udvenwald Tracker might be one of the strongest fight cards. This repeatable ability is very powerful and is an instant include in any fight deck. This would also just be a great include for any big green stompy deck as well. Lastly for fight, we have big red nonsense. There are some very expensive red spells that use fight differently than green. Blood Feud and Clash of Titans allows you to have any two creatures fight each other. You can have your opponent's creatures fight. 
and hopefully get rid of two big threats at once. The final fight card is Guild Feud. Guild Feud has you and an opponent look at the top three cards of your library and place a creature onto the battlefield. If you do, then they fight. If you're playing a creature heavy deck, you are casting your big creature for free. And if your opponent gets something out too, then you can kill it before they can take advantage of their creature. Last week's video talked all about Exile, and I received a few comments for great cards to include. Phase on Omega, and Exploud brought up that there are several good Karn Planeswalkers cards that can return cards from Exile, and Spahagandy recommended Pull from Eternity, which can return a card from Exile to your hand. I'm very sorry if I mispronounced those names, I tried my best. If you have a great suggestion for a cool fight card, please leave it in the comments below, and I might just mention it in, at the end of my next video. Thank you all for sticking around, I really appreciate you spending time to watch my videos. If you have a way in which fight has either won or lost you the game, please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great day, and as always, I'll see you later, Planeswalkers.